Yo, what's good, guys? This is your son, Mr. Wonka7. I'm making another three video in a row kind of thing. And I really like doing these things, these three videos per day sh bullshit videos, because I honestly feel like I'm saying a lot more. I miss some days where I can, like, skip a few days and do a hentai review, but now I can skip a few days and do three videos in one, like in 2011. Now that's some good shit, but what I want to talk about is the fact that I basically had six months without academia. I graduated high school, didn't go straight to college, didn't want to, didn't apply. Uh, everyone kind of had to deal with that stress. I didn't. And now their first semester is has come to an end for most part. Finals done, so these guys have completed their first semester. And I wanted to basically describe, from my perspective, what no longer being in academia feels like. Because I've had to go through the 12 years of that shit, elementary school, middle school, high school, I think middle school and high school had a bigger impact because you're like going through puberty so you no longer have to deal with that Freudian early childhood bullshit which is still very important I mean your first few years are probably the most deep and introspective because there's not a lot of it to compare to but really Getting out of academia has been a net gain for me in many ways. For starters, even though I don't really have a lot to do on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't have that casual stress. And I think that if I would have immediately gone to college or have gone to college, period, I would start to become much more dependent on I mean, let's be honest. Within my first few months, after dealing with my inflammation, so I haven't been making a lot of Mr. Wonka 7 videos around July and June, uh, I was really feeling weird, like, shouldn't I be doing something? Shouldn't I be doing my homework, or shouldn't I be doing this or that? It felt kind of uncomfortable because you're used to having to do something that you really don't want to do, which is essentially life in many ways, but there's a pressure that's being enforced on you by bureaucrats, by, I guess you can say, pseudo-Jews or Jews themselves where they really want to get you catatonic and stressed, like, yo, you should really do this midterm shit or this final shit or get ready to study for these, the state tests, these regents. You should get cracking on that. And I really think that that enforces a lot of stress and doesn't build for good habit. But unfortunately, people at a young age haven't been taught to a lot of good habits. That's why most of us are people with bad habits and bad habits begin to define us and define who we interact with. And I'm reminded of something that Van said earlier this year or Bulbas Bulbasaur that guy that comments on all my videos that some people do shut down who have been in the military because they don't have one of those upper guys to direct them in life. They don't have that pressure, that authority, and they become extremely miserable because of their freedom. And I've had some of that, yet it's given me a lot to think about that I really should have thought about outside of summer vacation or a semi-yearly perspective or even once every two years 
I've had time to think about the dread of mortality, which is important, because if you're not thinking about that, then you ain't really thinking about much. But this is how it is. I've had more time to think about that. It's really kind of put me philosophically in different directions, since I don't have an ideology to kind of counteract that. Something that I'll die for. Because let's be honest, I don't have people, I don't have a lot of people that I'll die for since... Where's the standard? Very much. I got like, what, two or three people that I interact with on a daily basis and... There's a lot of baggage with those two or three, so... On a philosophical level, when Ancapistan was something you were willing to live or die for, and the root of your egoism that gave you a will to power instead of just a raw will to live, there's a big of, bit of a problem. And in many ways, that is something I had to check for. Because philosophically, Senior year was a year of transition for me. Much like senior year, my eighth grade was a year of transition from liberalism to anarcho-capitalism. And now it's dropping ideology altogether and accepting a far-right or third-way mentality. And you're not going to think about things this intensely while you're in a fucking academic section. It's kind of funny. There's not a lot of room for actual thinking, actual learning. I feel like being in that kind of environment is very much anti-education or anti-learning. I feel like you don't know that when you're in a public environment there's pamphlets full of PC information basically talking about how sex works or how or things of this nature. They may also be in libraries and people that go into schools, do public speaking, may also hand them out. Those pamphlets that they use to kind of teach kids stuff are full of educational, bureaucratic bullshit that's full of nothing. I'm thinking, since I'm trying to enforce knowledge, I'm trying to showcase my intelligence, I need a proper means of doing it. And I need it more than just to interact with people, but to be introspective, which is important. Anyway, this is Mr. Walker 7. I tried growing this shit. I cannot throw for shit. I can't throw for anything. For the first video this day, I did the suck my dick. The second one, I did the respect the king. I guess I'm just gonna...